Hi everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. This is Doris and this is Humphrey and we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americanos living in the United Kingdomos, living a traditional life. <laughs> uh, we make three new videos a week so we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. and then you can follow me on Twitter. Today we're going to share with you some observations we had about birthday traditions, some differences, and what's the same, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Number one, in the UK, at work, when it's your birthday. Or anywhere else, like choir, school, play dates, play groups. You have to bring the, get, the, the treats, the yeah. cakes and stuff. So this is very, very different than the US. Um, in the US, you you usually don't tell people when it's your birthday. You kind of hope that your friends and your family know, right? Uh -huh, it's kind uh -huh. of like self, what is it? Mm -hmm. Flattering if you tell other people it's your birthday. Because mm -hmm. then, then it's almost like you're telling them to expect something from them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's the feeling the, of when it's your birthday. So if you were to bring a cake into work on your birthday. In the US it would be like your grandstanding that you're yeah. promoting yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And like people would look down on you. Yes, they would think that you're being stuck up or something. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's just weird. So here if you don't bring cake and it's your birthday, people think that that's rude because mm -hmm. you're supposed to be the one sharing the cake and the treats mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on your birthday. Yeah. Very, very strange. Number two, and this is probably true for the US and the UK, but school children and children who have uh, a class that they attend usually invite their entire class, which gets really annoying. And I think it's one of the great things about not ha going to, to a traditional school where you have classmates and you see them six hours every day, Monday through Friday, um, because you can be more selective about who you choose as your as the, to people who come to your birthday. Yes, baby. And it's also less costly because you're like inviting 30 children or so to mm -hmm. your birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have lots of people for my birthday too. Yeah. Mm. Number three is party favors. Yeah, I just think this is an interesting tradition for birthdays. It's true for both the US and the UK that they do party favors, but... I've never heard of it in the end. Oh. So, basically, at the end of the party, you send someone them home with a little bag of little treats. Mm. And it's like a thank you for coming to my birthday mm -hmm. presents. So, you, so it's, you basically, you end up giving presents. You, get, you give them presents on mm -hmm. your birthday. Mm -hmm. Number four is hiring entertainment. Now I think this is something that has just come about more recently in, in culture that I think back in the day and this is the way I grew up in family is you would just have family and friends over to your house and you would just play and eat and that was your birthday party but I think here in the UK at least I've noticed that the birthday parties we've been invited to are all like go to see a show go to they'll have an entertainer come or they'll have like a bouncy castle, which in America we call bouncy house. Um, so they always have to like pay money to hire some sort, some form of entertainment at your birthday party. And number five, as far as some activities that are done at the birthday, you have pin the tail on the donkey, musical chairs, and duck duck goose in the U.S. In the U.K., you have pass the parcel, no musical chairs. And freeze dancing? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Freeze dancing is just like where you, it's kind of like musical chairs in that you play music and you have to dance and then mm. you stop the music and you have to freeze. Mm. Like That's it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just little differences in party games. Do you think birthdays in general, there's not much difference, I don't think. It's not a US significant difference, but I do wonder whether, I mean, there is a difference between the way the Anglosphere does birthdays and Latin America, perhaps, okay. or at least small Latin communities. Mm -hmm. I think the Anglosphere, I don't know, it seems like they overblow a birthday. Yeah, in my Latin American family growing up, it was just a family celebration, only family. And there's just a cake and someone cooked dinner. 
We sometimes maybe went to a restaurant after the or and then the birthday cake was at home, but you didn't invite a million people. You didn't entertain with something. You didn't give people anything. It was a time for family to get together and celebrate the, that person, I guess. But but yeah, there is a big individual event at a particular age, the sweet the fifteen for a girl. Quinceanera. When a girl turns 15, it's a big deal in Latin America. And I guess it used to be in America, uh, the 16th the birthday 16 for a girl. Pretty big, yeah. But I haven't seen it in a long time. I love you. What do you mean? I haven't seen... You just don't have, you don't have any 16-year-old friends, do you? <laughs> I don't remember when I was in, in high school, people saying, oh, I'm going to have a sweet 16 party. I, I don't did. remember that at all. I did, and I invited my friends over. I think, don't, didn't you say you, you, you had like a birthday month? Like you wanted to have a whole month that was special? It is special. It's the month of your birthday. I don't <laughs> you know. see I what don't I mean? <laughs> What's the big deal about that? <laughs> I, just, I just can't even, as they say on Twitter. I can't even. <laughs> okay. It's not strange. <laughs> Commentators do opine on whether it's, not like it's we're strange having parties every day. to have a birthday month. It, it's the month of your birthday. I don't deny that there is a month in which you were born. I'm saying, does that month take on special meaning? Any you were born special that month? meaning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like people say, oh, look, at they're January babies or February babies. Like, mm. it's the month that matters. That <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Become a patron at patreon.com slash the postmodern family where you can have where you can have monthly live access to us. You'll get a thank you card. <laughs> And what's the top tier benefit? I can't the even... top tier benefit is having private Skypes with us. Oh, private Skypes with us. And you can also buy our t-shirts at teesprings.com slash stores slash the dash postmodern dash family. family. And the t-shirts are awesome. They're awesome. brilliant designs, oh. bespoke, unique designs that we came <laughs> up with ourselves and some that were suggested by our faithful, loyal commentators. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.